Hi, baby. To dive more about um, life principles or principles to live by, to um, have the best experience of life possible. More specifically about um, how to put attention inside. And to make sure that we're all on the same page, that we're all talking about the same thing, I'm going to make a little tiny intro about life, what life is, what consciousness is. I'll start with consciousness. Like consciousness is potentially everything that we can be aware, aware of as human beings. As it stands at the moment, the vast majority of people is just a way of tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of segment of the, of what of all consciousness, and we call this little segment um, human life. And it's just a one horse rise, and we whip this horse to death. Literally, we try and squeeze every drop of life out of it till it definitely dies. Till we die, that's it. But potentially, consciousness itself is so, so, so much more, but we're just so ignorant that we don't understand it. Now, inside this of what we are aware of at the moment, let's say, the average human being in this world that we experience, we're aware of, you know, things around us, our bodies, and so on and so on. We have this thing called attention. When we can focus our attention on something more than on something else, let's say, we're in some room where there are different pieces of furniture and then we are aware of the whole room. We are aware of everything that's going on, but we can put our attention specifically on one piece inside that room and focus and put all our attention on that. And that one piece, that what we put our attention on, will all of a sudden become the whole picture, everything. You know, we, we, we will notice everything about it. We will go deep into it. With the, our whole horizon will be filled with this one thing that we put attention on. So what do you mean when I talk about life principles or principles that govern our life that we should follow to have the best experience of life possible? When I say put attention inside, I mean that this attention, the tool that we have, that we are so used to putting out all the time, out and objects outside, out is on this a human body that is also outside, everything outside, putting our attention out all the time, turn it inwards and put your attention in. Put attention in instead of putting it out. And what I mean by that, I don't mean put your attention in by saying oh, how they feel and stuff like that. This is all part of the body. Feelings, emotions, as I speak about in many other videos that I have, are all part of the mind. This is all part of the experience of the physical world body mind all the same what i mean is when i say put your attention inside what i mean is putting it on that one point of consciousness that is inside your head in the middle of your head behind behind the eyes and it's called actually the third eye because it's where you actually see with the both sort of pictures from both eyes combined and you have just one picture and that point, particular point inside your head where this happens is at the same time the point of consciousness in a human body when we are awake, just in a wakeful state, not in any other state. So if we take all this attention that we're always placing outside, 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 that's why we think and feel that this outside world, physical world, is the only world there is, because we always, always put all our attention out into this physical world that we experience. So what happens when we change this and when we put a lot of our attention in at the point behind the eyes, the so-called third eye, and observe everything from there and experience everything from there, then, then, gradually, we become aware of so much more. As I said at the start, at the moment, the vast majority of people in this world are aware of just tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. But once you turn your attention from the inside, or from the outside in, and you become sort of experiencing life from that point behind the eyes in the middle of your head, then you start experiencing so much more. Then you start experiencing different levels of consciousness, and then you realize the, the tiny, tiny little big thing that we experience on a physical level as, as the world, as the life, as the body-mind, is just really one level. 
you know, the lowest level of experience. And there is so much more that we can experience, so many other levels of consciousness. And they become more and more sophisticated. They go in deeper in and in. They become more and more real. Because the lower three levels, including this physical level, are really just the projections of the mind. And when we go beyond the mind, then we get to the real stuff. Then we get to the real nature of who we are, to the real source of where it all comes from, and so on and so on. So this is an invitation for all of you who are interested in experiencing more than just the, lower, the lowest level of consciousness, who are interested in expanding your awareness, who are interested in actually discovering who you really are, what life really is, where does it all come from, and so on and so on. It is all so possible. It is all accessible to anybody, anybody, anywhere in the world, anybody. It does not depend on anything. It just depends on being a human being as being a soul, because all the human beings are soul. We are all one soul, really, when it comes to the highest level of consciousness. Anyway, so this is my rant for today as it comes to life principles, principles to live by, specifically put attention inside. So turn your attention from outside in. And so many beautiful, wonderful, exquisite changes will happen with that. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.